Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Teacher Sky's live stream. Yes, today we're having the Ed Tech Head discussion group. We're live today on Facebook and Twitch and Hello. Oh, and YouTube. Welcome. Hello. Hi, how are you guys today? Val is here. Hari. Hi, Layla. Welcome back. Always good to see you, Layla. I can't read your name. Hi. That's a beautiful language, though. Yes, can you write it in English and I can say hello to you? Hi, Val. I'm glad you're okay. I hope you are doing great. We just had a death in the family. My sister's husband, he's an amazing guy. And when someone would say, how are you? He would say, super. So that's a good way to answer. How are you today? I am super. Yes. Oh. Hi, Daisy. Shafra is here. Hello, E. Glad to see you. Abish, Abishek. Is that how I say it? See, I'm not that good at your language, right? We're all learning together. Ramy is here. Hello. I'm glad to see you here, Ramy. I'm good. Any Indians here? Amir wants to know. Roaster? As opposed, as opposed to rooster. Do you know that one, roaster? Some roosters, well, no. Chickens are good roasters. Right? We roast them in the oven. Oh, thank you, Layla. You are so welcome to be here. Ah, oh, you guys. So what are we going to learn today? Do you know what the team is? Teacher Sky's team. You see it up there? It's Ed Tech Heads, Team Ed Tech. What is Ed Tech? Oh, Flourish is here. I know she knows what Ed Tech is. She is a tech head from way back. Oh, Flourish, I can bring you up. Oh, my goodness. You have a subscription to the very end. Oh, my subscribers are the best. Hi, Flourish. Welcome. Oh, so I'm good. I'm so good. I have residency three on August 2nd, right when Hallow courses come out. I'm going to be at my residency for two weeks to finish the dissertation. I hope. <laughs> Congratulations. Sir. I hope I can finish it. I should finish it yeah, this year, yeah. but you know, there are actually four residencies. So this is number three, but I, my committee chair says I might be able to have something like you test out or you finish your mm -hmm. dissertation and you just, you don't have to do the fourth one. I'm hoping you write instead. I know you can do it. Yeah, well, I, I, can, do that I can do it easier because of your yeah. technology <laughs> skills. So you can tell everyone, what's an ed tech head? What is ed tech? Yes, uh, what I know uh, is the, uh, it's about education, uh, education technology. Right. In our head. In yeah. our heads, we're, we're <laughs> heads, we're like a club, we're heads, yeah. and it's so cool to be an ed tech head yeah. because you're part of our team, right? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. a we're part of it is using technology right. for education. Mm. So does that. education technology help anyone out there? Are you using technology to learn? Oh. Yes, we're using technology. <laughs> 
It's always the choice. Right now, we are immersed in technology. I have my cell phone and the computer, and there's all kinds of things like headphones and earbuds and all the tools that you need to make it work, right? Including the skills. And we are learning the skills. So Basie wants to know, what's the difference between super and superb? That's a good question, Basie. Does anyone want to help with that question? What do you think, Super, Flora? super and superb. Super. Mm, I think they're used super in different be. applications, right? Can you maybe make a sentence with them? Would that make it easier? To um, just super power. <laughs> Is that that kind of uh it's a power, power, powerful, powerful one. Super, super. B, uh, you're that strong. It's a positive, uh, uh, positive results. Results, absolutely. Positive action, yeah. Positive, super. And so, superb, superb, superb is an adjective. And really, super is an adjective, too. Super describes something, right? Adjective describes things. Oh, Vila is here. Vila, would you like to come up? Oh, Vila, your subscription ran out. I'm so sad. We used to have so much fun with all the girls coming up here. Hi, Oathmane. I think, teacher, I think, teacher, it's pretty half one, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's very it good. For free half one, too. I think you're right. It's um yeah. let's try to make a sentence with superb. Oh, Fatima, I know I missed your call again. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're convening with nature and getting along with all of the farm animals. I know it's so hard. I mean all of the farm animals. You know what I mean? You're doing so good. So superb. How about a sentence with superb? I may say that my day for um, today, uh, my day is uh, super great <laughs> because I was able to talk with other people and practice speaking to them. And the uh, people I've met is really super intelligent. Super. <laughs> they are very active. Yeah. yeah. And learning with them. So, the and one. let's it's see, like, super. We're describing it's an <laughs> adjective. And Superb, you know, I think superb a lot of time, it it explains okay. and describes food. I've had food that was just superb. It was excellent, perfect. So super is like superpowers, like Superman, right? And then superb is a little more colorful, isn't it? A little more descriptive. Okay. Yeah, be less safe. Super is used nowadays mostly as an adverb, meaning very, really super B. <laughs> On the other hand, means excellent or excellent. outstanding. Oh, Roshan says extraordinary. I think superb could be extraordinary. Is super extraordinary? Well, yeah. I think super might be a little more casual than superb. Abhay, I can send you a message and then you can chat to me, okay? That's how you can talk to teacher, to the teacher, okay? Make sure you get your grammar right when you're writing in the comments, everyone. So that's Abhay. I need to help him. So Flourish, can you help me maybe read some of the comments that are coming in toward the bottom? I'm kind of missing a few. I'm going to make friends yeah. with Abhay. Okay. Yes, sure. Uh, Russian said, your lessons are always super B, uh, superb. Superb. Okay. So it's yeah. describing yeah. the lesson. They're superb. They're so good. Superb. I think when I hear superb in America, we're usually talking about food. I think that is when I hear it the most. But sometimes maybe your vacation could be superb. It's excellent. It's perfect in every way. And super Jaren is here. Hi, Jaren. 
Can you see this one, Flourish? Could you read the pinned comment that Jaren made? I thought it was very good. Yes, teacher. Uh, super basically refers to something which is good and you just like it. Yes. Whereas super, be, super refers to something which is so dumb or excellent. Both words are used to describe that how much you like something. Ah, so you don't need that in there, Jaren. Both words are used to describe how much you like something. So you just had an extra word that. That was excellent. I think, Jaren, you are very good with your English for a 15-year-old. You guys don't let her show you up. Let's all write in complete sentences in the comments. And I love it when you participate. Okay. So, yeah. Basie is who started this conversation. Thank you, Basie. Am I saying your name right, Basie? So, Flourish, can you read what Basie has to ask on this next one, the pinned question? Thank you, uh, So, we can say... I am super or I'm super are the same. Yeah, you could. I'm super. You know, I'm super. I think, you know, going back to what Jaren said, I'm good. I'm really good. I'm so good. But if you said I'm superb, it sounds super kind of funny. Like, I just love me and I'm so good, you know, so it might be too much. Like Jaren said, it's taking it a little bit further. It's more extravagant. Would you say that, okay. Flourish? I'm superb. I'm superb. <laughs> let's, I'm superb artist. Yeah. You I'm are. Superb. I'm superb. Yeah. So let's do a little role play with it. And I'll ask you the first mm -hmm. time and you say, I'm super. Okay. And then I'll ask you the second time and you'll say, I'm superb. And let's just see how it feels. Okay. Hi, Flourish. How are you doing? Oh, I'm superb. Super. Oh, and did you say superb? Yes. Superb. You said superb. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it with super once. Um, hi, Flourish. Super. How's it been going? How are you doing? Oh, I'm super. I'm super. Uh, so that's kind of like thumbs up. I'm super. Yeah, I'm, I'm super. super. Where if you said I'm superb. Hmm. So Flourish, super. how are you? I'm super. <laughs> <laughs> superb just sounds funny doesn't it so, no I'm, basie uh, i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't use them interchangeably amazing. Is it that amazing. Superb? i'm amazing i'm superb i'm so perfect yeah, and no perfect. one can touch me i'm just too yeah. good i think it's too good i think it's kind of ah superb no i think uh -huh. that's too good but super just means you're good you're feeling good today superb Super duper Max says. Super duper. <laughs> That's a good one. Super duper. Oh, so Roshan used it in a sentence. What do you think this one? Uh, the pinned comment. Um, I'm super busy. <laughs> yeah, see, it just super kind busy. of, yeah, you're very friendly about it, but you know, I'm, I'm, I can't do this. I'm, I've said I'm crazy busy. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, teacher, uh, uh, Nagaraj, Nagaraj also have a very good example. Uh, it is super interactive class with teacher's guide to learn English. Nagaraj says. Oh, the comment. let me see if I can catch that. I was, yeah. B, or Basie was saying that you wanted me to call you too, and I will. I'll send you a message, Basie. But now, uh, who was it, uh, Flourish? I think. Come again, teacher. I think I think teacher today is uh, July twenty. Is it a free hop on? I oh. think it's free hop on to anyone. Mm, I don't think for anyone. I don't think so. Is it a free hop one? No. Mm -hmm. It's going to be people no. that are taking Teacher's Guys courses. If you take my course, you can hop on free. Okay, so you have to sign up. If you haven't signed up yet, you should. You know, there's the free trial. So if you can't afford it and you're just trying to save up right now, that's good. Just save up and sign up for the free trial. 
Now we'll have to get a class to make because there does have to be someone that pays in the class, you know, when you're doing the free trial. So it can't be five free tiles and teacher Sky gets to do a class. Instead, we have to have at least one or two paying customers and then the right, up to 40 people can come as aspirers in that level. So that's what it takes to hop on. You have to be a paying. I know I thought everyone would be able to do it. And I thought that would be good because I could call on you. And uh, But yes, it is the new model. And it is, I know it's very challenging. It makes you want to save your money. And you know, it also helps the teachers a bit more because it is like right now I'm in peak season for my Chinese classes. The Chinese children are out of school for summer. And so it's really hard to do the hallow courses that don't pay. And so Hallow is trying to make it to where we can earn an income so that you can keep the good teachers here that like to be here. I love Hallow and I've been doing a lot of it for free. Uh, I expect today will be a free lesson and that's fine. I enjoy giving free lessons because I get to meet you all and I learn so much. So Rashawn had another really good use of that word superb and super or those words. Um, can you see the pin comment for us? Could you read Rashawn's? Yes, teacher. Um, I was super busy yesterday, but I was managed to get a little time to have some super food in my favorite restaurant. Ha ha ha, super food. Wow. Super you, and super. You know yeah. what that reminds me of? In United States, we have this like oh it's a very complete meal and it's all greens and it's all like they're dehydrated and ground up and they put it and you de you rehydrate it and you maybe put it in water and they call it superfood because you get all of your nutrients it's got blue green algae and all the all the vegetables are all in this powder and you uh, make a tea out of it or a drink and they call it superfood so that's what that reminds me but soup Superb food is excellent and tastes so good. I think that was a very good sentence. So yeah. someone else had a sentence, didn't they? Was it yeah. Basie? Oh, no. Who else had a sentence using super and oh, super? So. Oh, here it is, Basie. Yes. So here's one for you, Flourish. Uh -huh. I am super happy to get the super answer. Ah, and it's get to got. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's get. You said it right, Flourish. Thank you for fixing that. Basie, it's get. Uh, to get, I'm going to get some. I got them yesterday, right? Now that's past tense. Ah, uh, Vera Kumar. Oh, Hello, Vera. Saad, out of the world. What does that mean, Saad? Out of the world. Out of this world? Is that what you mean? Okay, yeah. that is an expression, Saad. So I pinned it. Oh, it's, okay. what should it say, Flourish? Out of, out of, the world yeah it, the world it should be out of this of world out of this out world of is how the expression goes out yeah there are probably world. things out of the world but i never hear it said like that out of the world hi chan good to see you and i'm still working on your idiom course i promised you have it in august okay i will have it in august excellent good to see you guys maxi is here hi hey guy what's up good to see you here Oh, excellent. So do we have any education technology um, information that we'd like to share with each other? We are the team ed tech heads in a community of practice. We like to practice like something really good. Yes, yeah, Saad, that's out of this world. You know, another way they say it, and it's mainly with food, they say, oh, it's to die for. But I don't like that one. I say it's to live for. <laughs> Because sometimes we say, um, oh, I, there's an expression we say, I just love them to death. That doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> I just love them to death. <laughs> so I have changed that. Instead, I say, I just love them to life. <laughs> I love them to life. Yeah, I guess when they say I love them to death, but they drive me crazy, it usually means a negative thing because you say I love them to death. We have to be careful with our words, don't we? I know you be careful what you say. Oh, uh, Maxie, I'm really busy with assignments, but I'm doing well. I'm glad, Maxie, and good to see you here. That's Manohar, you guys. You know him? Excellent. Yes, Jaron does. 
Okay, good. Well, it looks like the gang's all here. We should look at some tools. Flores, do you have any um, ed tech tools that you've used lately that are interesting that might be fun to share? Or would you like to do some reading? Or what do you want to do? Um, um, it's a common tool always as the, uh, the new application, right, teacher? The, and not familiar, another new tool uh, is it an application yeah every time we have a new application but i don't i i'm not so familiar yet sure oh no, you no, know, no, no, no no yeah well you know hello recently upgraded this app so if you haven't upgraded you might want to and do you know how to do that flores do you use hello on the do you use it on your cell phone I'm using it on my cell phone only, teacher. Are you? Not so, on computer. So you're kind of, you're, you're more techy than I am. You're more high tech. And I think <laughs> you just know so much about technology. How would you go about upgrading the Halo app? I will just update, uh, I go on Play Store and um, update, update the oh, Halo application. I got you. It's just the update. So you have to go to the Play Store. Okay. Play Store and update, then click the Halo and then update. Uh, there's a suggestion there to update the Halo application okay. to get the uh, latest version. So I use the App Store instead of Google Play, Play, Play Store. So Play when Store. I go to the store, yes. that's where I see it. Oh. You can click uh, find the Halo application, then it will show the over there that the update button. Okay, so we all have no excuse. Now you know how to update the app. You have to go to the, the store where you download it, right? And if you have the iPhone, it's the app store, right? And if you have an Android, it's Google, do they call it Google Play? Google Store? Yes, Google Play. Yeah. Google Play, okay, because oh. you get all your games there, right? How many of you all have games on your phone? Oh, mom, though, has a suggestion for an app. Flourish, could you read that? And I'll try to look it up and we can see what this app is. Uh, on our company, we have an application. It's called Trello. It keeps us monitoring the project. And each person, the person can follow, follow up what is his task and the due date of it. Yeah, uh, okay. the Trello application. Trello. Okay, so it's Trello.com. And let's see if I can get to that. Where am I here? Okay, I need to share this other screen. And Sham Sudin taught me how to do this other way so I don't have to always come back to me and I can just, and I'm going to try that. I'm going to share. Now, Flourish, you're, and there are many technology people here. Have you all heard that you shouldn't show your whole screen when you do a share screen? Yes. Yes, someone, yes, so that uh, for privacy purposes, we are. Okay. In so order to avoid to... hacking, ever. Okay. they might see the URL or everything. Okay. I'm going to make it big then. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to share the entire screen this time. This is going to be different, okay? And it might feed back at first is what he says. But when I do, I should be able to just go over here to different screens. <gasps> it works. But you know what else? I, now I can't see it. Um, I have to look at my phone to be able to see what's going on. But And I'm not sure if I can navigate. So I'm not a member I could continue with Slack. Maybe I'll do that. So this is called Trello, and it's a project management tool. Oh, geez. What am I in Slack? Um, Teacher Sky, maybe? Teacher Sky at Slack? You guys use Slack. It's also a management or project management tool. Uh, maybe it's email address. Let's try that one. No, I don't know what my Slack address is. Okay, so this is not working for me. So I'm going to have to go back and do it the old way. Wow, that's really cool. Did you see that feedback? Uh, okay, I'm going to do it the other way because 
I can't do it that way. I can't look around for stuff. Okay, so here they took me to Slack. Okay, I don't really want to be in Slack. So it's Trello.com. And I wonder if we could just find out about it. Start your free trial. Okay, so you can see this. Okay, this helps. And I'd like to get the whole thing on the screen. No. Mm. This is still a problem for me. It always cuts off the edge. So there it is, right? Official. It says, um, are you able to see this well enough to read, Flourish, about Trello? Yes, teacher. Um, Trello.com, Trello official website, get it started. Mm. So go from idea to action in seconds with Trello's intuitively simple, simple, yeah. Is it <laughs> simple board. Boards, okay. List okay. and card. Oh, and then it says Trello is Trello. The, fun. the fun, flexible, and free way to organize plans, projects, and more. Oh, so it's a for anything. Any event. Okay. So if we go there, I think this is where they're going to make me want to log in. So here's some more about it. And I do like to learn about it. And why does it always yeah. fall off the screen? Hmm. Back. If, you, if, the, okay. if, you, if there's a project you assign to another person, you can monitor the progress of his project by just uh, putting it on Trello. Okay. Yeah. So let's sign up. <laughs> I'll sign up as teacher Sky. That means I have to probably go in. Let's see. Um, Sky Tomlinson. Okay, we're going to sign up, guys. <laughs> so I wonder if I'll have to go into my email to do it. Oh, no, this is really easy. So they say Trello is free. And Mom Dun has, oh, okay. So you use this in your company, Mom Dun. Mom Doe, is that how I say your name? I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Mom Keeps us monitoring the project. So you monitor. Now, check your spelling on monitor, Mom Doe. Each person can follow up what monitor. His, his tasks are, not is his task. And the due date, okay. So name my workspace, okay. And I can invite you all to attend here. I'll invite myself. Let's see, Skylock. Social media solutions at Gmail. If you guys want to email me, that's one of my email accounts. So I'm going to invite me. It, business class for 30 days. Okay, so here's my free trial. This is what it would look like if you go in here. How nice. Okay, so we're going to have to check the email to do it. Oh, and it takes you right over. It's very efficient. I didn't even have to open my email. It did it for me. Oh, but it didn't show you. Well, that's kind of good. <laughs> it took me to my email, but not you all to that page, which is kind of good. That's very good protection. Um, let's see if I can bring up. We want to go in and kind of play around with it a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so they sent me an email and I have to go to my email account and I have to verify it. And that's what you always have to do. They have to make sure it's you before they can uh, open the account for you. My email, my uh, internet is a little slow. So it's on check your mail. Okay, I'm checking, I'm checking. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's in the other email account. Oh boy, this is fun, isn't it? Yep, here it is. I just got, I got invited to join. I'm sorry, you guys can't see it, but I'm going to join the workspace. And, okay, I'll come back and change it. <laughs> so technology is pretty tricky, isn't it? It's not always as easy as it looks. So we're going to Trello and we're going to try it out at Mom Doe's recommendation. Let's see, Trello, which one is it? Now I have all these tabs open. Create your first workspace. Oh, I did that one. Okay, so the one that I want, it says, oh boy, I have so many tabs open now. Let's see if I can find it. This one, 
It's Sky Tomlinson's workplace. So now, oh, is this what your um, dashboard looks like, Momdo? Wow, that's pretty good. You see all the things it can do. Should I make it bigger so you can see it a little bit better, Flourish? Uh, I don't think it's going to fall off the screen. Um, <clears throat> so do you see this section right here with, can you read what these this menu is right here, Flourish? Uh, the menu, menu is the board. boards. Can you? It's workspace table. So I guess that's where you go in and work on things. We could look at it. Workspace table. Oh, you have to upgrade to get that one. I bet your company has it, right, Mama Do? So here's boards, and I guess you can have different projects you're working on board workspace table and then members and right now it's just me and me and then here's the settings my internet is slow i guess this time of day my internet does this i don't know why because i have an ethernet cable and with ethernet you shouldn't have to have wi-fi and be subject to all the problems but for some reason, it's not giving it to me. But we definitely got your idea. So up here, you have an inbox and email. Let's see. Okay, I already got it at my teacher Sky ESL email. So you guys be sure and, and visit Teacher Sky's ESL YouTube. And that's where I keep all of these. You can also see them on www.hallow.video. So that, that's pretty good. I like Trello. Uh, I, other than my internet slow, and I think because I'm just getting started, there's not much going on here. It doesn't have much to show me. But okay, here's some boards. Oh, can you see why it took so long to load up? They're pretty fancy. Can you see those flourish? The boards? They're templates. So should we do this one right here? The simple project board? Oh, look. Oh, look at all the creatives they have. Move anything that is actually started here. Move anything from doing to done here. Oh, so there's a brainstorm one where you can come up with just ideas. You guys want to do a brainstorm? Do you know what a brainstorm is? Brainstorming, uh, sharing ideas. Okay. okay, so Okay, so here is what a brainstorm is. And I don't know, can you see that well enough, Flourish? It's kind of small, isn't it? Description. It was the hop and description. Ideas are created and share here through a card. Here you can describe what you'd like to accomplish. For example, you can follow three simple questions to create the card related to your idea. Why? Why do you want to do it? Why do you wish to do it? It says, what? What is it? What are the goals? Who is concerned? And how? How do you think you can do it? What are the required steps? After creation, you move your card to the to-do list. So this is how you would brainstorm. And I think that's a wonderful idea that using the why, what, and how is, is pretty, it's very good, um, what do you call it, a guideline to go by? Do you ever use those words like why, what, how, when, who? When yes, you sure we use five W's in one age. Yeah, so if you're writing something, you could answer those questions, and there you have an essay. So here's the to-do list. This looks pretty good. Move anything. Ready. ready. So if it's ready to do, you put it here, and there's a room for attachments, and you describe what it is you decided to do, and you can share it with other people. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the templates. Now, this one is doing. So we're in the process of doing. 
this should help you with your grammar, right? So on this one, what does it say here? Move anything? that's actually started here. So you're in the process of it. It's doing. Ah, that's the to-do list. So this, this one, the brainstorm, we haven't thought of yet. And it's kind of off the screen. You can't see brainstorm. But then there's the to-do list. And then there's the doing list. And then what's this one, Flourish? Can you see it? The done. Move anything. Done. Move anything from doing to done. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So you get to celebrate. That's cool. Great job, everyone. Who's Ann Hurley? Oh, how nice. That's great. So that's who created that little graphic. And it's to celebrate. You finished. Oh, have you guys heard of, oh, what is that one? I, there are a lot of project management tools. And this one looks really good. And most of them are free to get started. But then you usually upgrade, you know, to get better uh functionality so that one is a pretty good one i like that and thank you very much for sharing mama doe more better if you use the application not the website oh i see so don't say more better it's a lot better more better what's wrong with that more better have you guys heard that before more better it's too much more and better More. they're the same done, done. yeah so you'd want to say they're a lot better yeah more better i know a lot of people use that and you really have to watch it yeah i bet so on the mobile app about the much better is also much fine. better much is better much better much better. Thank you. And I don't know why you can't say more better, but you can't. It sounds terrible. Much better. That sounds much better. I know it's English, so it's very confusing. Okay, so Mamda says, when you sign up, you can create a board and you add the team members to it. Okay, Mamdo, in it. Uh, Sa'ad says, yes, you can create the project in this platform and you can share the tasks between co-workers. Excellent. Do you all know some other project management software? You know what Halo uses? The Halo team and teachers? I've showed it before. Do you know that one, Flourish? I, it's an app. What? Halo using let me see if I can look up some project man management tools. There's some really good ones out there. Project. I love project management and I could do it for a living. Mm -hmm. I just love it so much. So let's say software. And I'm going to see if we can look up some different ones because there's some good ones. I've used, um, okay, the one that Hallow's is using is called Slack. Yeah. Slack. And That's Slack is what, for communication. Yeah, and it's just like this. Yes, well, I guess, yeah, it's different. It doesn't really, well, no, we don't have goals and time, uh, you know, like uh, times that we had to finish. It's mainly just for conversation. Um, here we go. 10 best project management tools. This will be good. Okay, so here are 10 different project management tools. I've never seen any of these. I was using one called, oh, what was it? Asana? Have you guys heard of that one? Asana, I think it is. Asana versus Trello. Yeah, Asana must be a good one because if you look it up, it's, oh, it's spelled A-S-A-N-A. -A -A, and I don't see it in the top 10, which I'm surprised. Asana is Asana is good uh, Asana. project management. I'm going to, I'm shortening management. Okay. Because Asana is just cute and very good. I used it with an organization I worked with. At the end of it, you can program it to give you little Asana. like congratulations. And it's so cute. Oh, batter is like merge. I didn't know that med batter. Oh, okay. So, not much better. Batter. So batter, and even spelled that way, batter to me is the um, 
liquid to make a cake or pancakes. It's called pancake batter or cake batter, and we pour it in the pan and cook it. The liquid is called batter. How interesting. So merging is like batter. It's like mixing up your cake mix. I get it. You tech heads always use the words that we use in the real world, and you you use it in technology. That's great. Okay, so did I miss anybody else's important comment? comment. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. mom do to do doing done. Excellent. In that order, that's like past, present, future, right? Your tenses. Okay. Thank you, Jaron, for helping out. Uh, thank you so much. More batter if you use the application, not the website. More batter. But you didn't mean that in a tech sense, mom da. You meant it's more better. It's much better. Okay, good. Okay, so let's look at these top 10. This will be fun. I love to find new technology, and I'm a real ed tech head because I just enjoy it so much. Let me see here. Can I make it bigger for you, Flourish? Oh. So this first one's called Monday. Monday.com. Are you able to read that, Flourish? Is it big enough for you? No. You can't see it? No, I can't It's see too small. It okay. Maybe. So Monday is one, and then there's one called Smart Sheet. I'm going to bring it in, but that makes it smaller. But at least Smart you can sheet. see, you can kind of see their logo, Smart Sheet. You see it? It's checked off. Like on Monday, it says Modern User Friendly Interface, Nowhere Projects Stand at a Glance. Open Zoom conference calls from any dashboard, and you get a 14 free di uh, free tri free trial. Now, for SmartSheet, it sounds like something you would use, Flourish, because it's spreadsheets, right? Sheet like a spreadsheet. It says scalable project plans. What does scalable mean? I'll type that in the comments. Well, make sure, make sure, make sure, and make sure. No, scalable yeah. means that you can, it can get bigger and you can yeah. add more. Like if you were to start a coffee shop in your town and it was so very successful. And so you moved to another town and you opened another coffee shop and then another town, you opened another coffee shop. They would say that your business is scalable. Scalable. Can you say that, Lauren? Scalable. Scalable. So it can scalable. grow, right? And so they mean that you can, can use, fun. yeah, you can use this to you know transfer it to bigger projects. And we do that okay. a lot, don't we, Flourish? We take the information and dump it into another one, and it gets bigger. Uh, expandable. Expandable. I, I like that word. Expand. Yeah, expandable. That's a good one. You can make it bigger. Um, scale up. So another one is Rike Collaboration and Project Management Software. Right. Uh, another one is ClickUp for workflow for your team. You know, this is the top 10, and I'm not seeing any that I recognize. Here's Ring Central. Interesting. Now, where are the other 10? I only saw five. Well, I don't know about that. It's the top 10.com and they gave us five. Maybe I didn't hit the right button. Let's see if there's some other ones. ClickUp is free forever. Oh, have you guys used ClickUp? They don't. Up. How do they do it if it's free? Here's one. Have you ever used Hive? Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this looks really serious. Look, guys. Are you able to read that, Flourish? We have move faster. We help teams move faster. It says the new project management platform that gets you to the goals at record speed. Ooh, that looks, they have some pretty good marketing, don't they? Agenda and priorities. Oh, this is what it looks like. That's pretty good. The priorities. Uh, okay. Well, 
let's see what else we have. <laughs> These are fun. Do you guys use project management software for anything? I really like the Google Drive, and I think we've done so well with the spreadsheets, Flourish. They really have been useful. Uh, 54 best project, man. 54. Are there that many out there? Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of competition if you're a software engineer, right? Okay. What's the best one? <laughs> They're not going to say, but they'll say what the top 50 are. Let's see if we can get to them. 53. Oh, and you know, Hive got number one. Hive. It's like a beehive, right? And they're very busy bees in the beehive. Oh, and there's a lot of reading material, but it's all pretty light font. I don't know why they use that light color. Here it is. Number two oh, on the list. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Jaren, you sure are handling it. For a 15-year-old, I have no idea what anyone's saying because we are doing this. Thank you so much, Jaren. You really have earned your badge. Oh, here's the one I was talking about, guys. Can you see it? Asana. 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 I really like this software. It worked very well, and I just enjoyed using it. Um, it was with a real team. We were doing IT uh, for about seven different businesses. We had a, a charter schools. We had a mansion. We had a big company. And, yeah, we used the Asana software. It was pretty good. Small and larger mm -hmm. projects. And we did the free one. Oh, here's one. I've used this one, too. You see that one? Base Camp. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Um, Base um, Camp. Excellent. Oh, that is a really good one. I use this with a software company I worked for, and they had things like milestones, and we would do that. We would have a project, and everyone would have the milestone. They'd have to have it done by a certain time. I could do timesheets in this one. It was very, very efficient. I like Basecamp. Here's a fun one. What's that called? You see the name? Nifty or Nifty? It's way up there in the corner. And nifty. Nifty's nifty. kind of a cute word that means it's cool. Nifty. Kind of like slack. Slack talks about your time off, right? I don't have enough slack. Or they put slack in it. Oh, here's another one. Can you read number six, Flourish? Can you see that? Work from. Yeah. Work from. Work front. Work front. That looks like work a good front. one. And I really like this article. It's showing us the software and what it looks like. Excellent. Oh, Jaren, this is holiday. Yeah, so you will get your badge. Don't worry. She's doing something very special. And I may have jumped the gun. That means prematurely announced your badge. But you're doing such good work. I really wanted to recognize you, Jaren. You are awesome. Yeah. So here's another one. Can you read that one, Flourish? Smart Smart Sheet. Smart Sheet. Oh, we need one of the. Oh, this right. looks very good. You know, I really like the project management that has color coding, like you see here. And you can actually see the projects because they have like the yellow long line. And you can see how the projects color overlap. Color. That's a good one. Smart Sheet. And it's on the web. And then they show it here on mobile what it looks like on mobile. Uh, here's another one. We saw this before. Right. Right. Yes. You, yeah, you say, you don't really say that W. Right. It's like right, right? Right. Right. That's an interesting right. word. But here's the dashboard. It looks pretty intuitive. They're all very similar, and it's really hard that they're, you know, competing. And some of them will make a business and some won't. Oh, what's that one? Number nine. Jira. 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 Yeah. Jira is a bug yeah. tracking. Oh, an agile yeah. project. Oh, so this is for the tech heads, guys, for software development companies. Hence, it has that name that is so weird. Jira. I, I wonder what Jira means. Jira. Oh, here's that one we saw before. It's kind of cool. Monday. Oh, Monday looks Monday. really good. Look at that one. Monday. I love the visual 
Yeah, the visual software. Isn't it pretty? You can see the green areas where they're open. Yeah. Yellow is kind of, uh oh, and then red, no way. <laughs> Good, those are excellent. I like that one. Very simple. Oh, here's another one. Zoho. 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 That looks Zoho. very good, too. Pretty good dashboard. It's got that little um, chart with the kind of a clock that shows it go from red to yellow to green. Excellent. Oh, these are good. Here's another. Liquid planner. Liquid. So it makes everything flow like liquid. Hey, Chan. Welcome like back. Awesome. Nazma, y'all, did, did you use Monday before? Oh, you just like the name of it. I know. This one looks really good. I like the visual ones. Liquid Planner. A fusion of traditional project management and time tracking. Oh, okay. Here's another one, number 13. Click up. Click up. Oh, wow. Look, it has a stopwatch on it right here. So very timely projects wow that looks like customizable views including list view board it's similar to kanban if you've ever used that one i haven't used that one either there's some really good ones in here 100 megabytes of data it's free and then after that it's five dollars a month billed mm -hmm. annually okay here's another one air table air table Oh, this looks very good. Look yeah, at all the colors. Yeah. Airtable is a high-powered spreadsheet in which you can list task projects and store files. So it's a spreadsheet. Oh, very viewable. Uh, Flourish, I see you using something like this and just being a whiz at it. You know what that means? A whiz or wizard, like really good at it? Oh, here's one. What's that? Number 15? Marvin Link. Marvin, Marvin Link. And you know what? The maven is a word, and it usually means a rich woman. Maven is someone who's very wealthy. She's called a maven. Maven was built specifically for operational and financial sides of service businesses. Okay. So what they're doing is catering to different kinds of businesses, and those businesses use the software. And it looks pretty good, $19 a month. Okay, here's another one. Meister. Yeah, do you know that word, Meister. Meister. You know, they use that word a lot, Meister. Um, I think they mean like in music, the person that's conducting, Maestro, Meister. I think that's, you know, so you're conducting and it looks like it does have some music and maybe some audio interface. Helps you sort projects and tasks within a larger team. Okay. It has pre-made workflows that make the most of this tool. Oh, here's a fun one. Float. 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 You just Floating. float your way right through the work. It looks pretty floaty. There's not much there. I see the people. Mm -hmm. It's specifically made for resource scheduling and multi-project planning across a team. It's ideal if you want a general overview of team workload. And what's taking up all the time. So it's very timely. Okay, number 18. Proof Hub. Yeah. Proof Hub. Proof Hub. I love it because people are laughing about the names of this software. So I think this would be a good time to um, brainstorm. Let's do a little mm -hmm. brainstorm. So if you are a software engineer, okay, let's pretend you're a software mm -hmm. engineer and you're going to develop a new software tool. What would you call it? And it can be project management. Let's do a project management tool. What are some good names? Pictures guy. <laughs> um, I got one. By project. Get it done. 
<laughs> That's what I would call it. Would you say side yeah. project? What kind of project? <laughs> You're from Earth, Jaren. Good. So, do you guys have names that you could come up with? Some creative names for software tools. What's it? Oh. What's a good name for project management tool? That one I like, Flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> like that song, Cosmic Flow. You know, sometimes you'll hear them say, get her done, instead of get it done. And that's very slang, get her done. Got it, project. Got it. We're all practicing our English. And Jaren, it's so funny. They're saying, where are you from? I'm from Earth. Like, that is so good. <laughs> so you guys don't have any good ideas for names for software? Oh. Come on. I love to do brainstorm. Yeah. Got it done. Drop down. <laughs> like a menu. Drop down. Am I spelling this right? Drop down? Yeah. Yeah. Drop down. Yes. Drop down. List. Drop down. Like a list. Yeah. Menu. I love that. Oh, that's a good one. Drop down. Now, it's not like okay. this one, right? Got it done. Oh, got, got it. it. Got it done. I got it done. Drop dead. <laughs> Drop dead. To agree, Chan says, to agree with something because a lot of people do it, go with the flow. Yes. Yes. You just go with the flow. And I call it also the path of least resistance. Yeah, the path of least resistance. I always take, if I feel there's too much, mm, I might just try to go another path. <laughs> oh, I, uh, hello, just joined Hello right now. Till I get more experience, I'm just listening. Oh, you need to work on your sentences. I, uh, hello, I'm okay now. I, uh, this is only because I care. We're going to take your sentence and give you constructive criticism. So Aya says, hello. Oh, and it got mixed up, didn't it? Instead of just, it was supposed to be I just. I know your phone app does that all the time. My phone does too in the chat. I just joined Hello right now. And then maybe comma, or you could do another sentence. Until I get more experience. I'll just listen. Okay. I'm just listening. That's that's the way you would say that. I'm listening or I'm just listening now. That's good. A lot of people do that and then they get brave enough to hop on. Now, in the future, to hop on, you've got to take a Halo course, okay? Because Halo is moving to the course model. We're not going to just be live streams. Now, for students, you can live stream all the time. And teachers will have live streams. My live streams will still be on Wednesday and Friday. I'll keep today's date, the Ed Tech Head discussion group, and then our TV show on Friday. Flourish, have you signed up for any of them yet? Are you taking a course? Not yet, teacher. No. I didn't sign any prior course no. yet, teacher. No. It's a time yeah. commitment, isn't it? You have to be there two times a week. It's like Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. And you yeah. have to do that for a whole month, right? But, you know, I've noticed that people, when they pay for it, they'll show up. So if it's something that means a lot to you, you will come. And that means you'll have to practice. Mm -hmm. I know, Jaron, it is crazy. So I'm going to try to help you out more because there are a lot of people here. Thank you, all 91 of you, for coming. High five. And we are just, we were talking about ed tech tools because we are team ed tech head. And so, hmm, let's see. Oh, I love to bring up the thumbnail. We are the team ed tech heads. That means uh, we are interested in using technology to learn our English. And we're just sharing and we are a support group for one another. So we help each other and support each other in learning English. 
and using technology. So Chan, you have a good question. When they remove subscription, how many times will stream per week on August? Um, Chan, let me fix your sentence first. When they remove the subscription model, yeah, uh, how many times will who stream per week in August? It needs to be in August, not on August. So you mean, Teacher Sky, I will stream two times a week, Wednesday and Friday in August. Is that answering your question? Did you mean who will stream? I think that's a good way to go because it's less confusing. The Hallow Courses, you meet two times a week. And if I stream two times a week, then you kind of have that, you know, it's kind of a pattern that I'm helping you to create so that you can practice. Yes, thank you, Flourish, for appreciating Jaren. Oh, are you talking about me? Yeah. So Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday is what we do today, Team Ed Tech Heads, and Friday we have our TV show. Okay, so you all are welcome to do a segment on the TV show. We do it on Friday, and, you know, we can bring you and let you be interviewed. You can show some video. Uh, you could send me an audio recorded message in the chat, and I could play it. If you want to practice, give a presentation, tell about your your country or your family. You can tell about your food. I, that's my favorite subject. I know. We love to have fun on the TV show. So, Flourish, do you have anything else that you'd like to add as far as ed tech tools? Uh, more? Uh, it's not uh, project management. I think uh, if you have some question about Excel spreadsheet and you don't know anyone to ask for you, a teacher, for example, and you want to know it right away, yes. you can go on um, Got It Pro Excel. Oh. There's a website for Got It Pro Excel. Could you type that uh, in the comments? It's something pro. Um, I'm not catching your first. I, I, I think you try to. Uh, a search that is pro Excel, so it's mo any problem for your oh. uh, any situational project, uh, any situation that you might encounter while doing your Excel or spreadsheet. You just uh, if you can be a you will be a member over there, and then you may ask on online your question or any project. Then there's someone to answer you online as well oh so it's like got it like at that moment got it yeah got it. i got it yes. oh i you got know, it so I that is pro excel excel and it's a uh yeah. help line or support group like tech support um, yes uh or more about Excel or a spreadsheet also teacher so if you help you whatever problem you want to um you want to post and then someone will answer you chat on live live oh is it, it now would it be someone that works for excel that is answering the question or yeah. is it just users that are sharing knowledge no they will answer your question teacher uh, one on one you okay. will post your question and then on a live chat I then see. someone will answer you just like a customer service. Like a chat line. They will, oh. A live chat, yes. Live. So you, it's up to you if you would like to share your uh, soft copy, uh, your file with them in order for them to troubleshoot. Their, and, and then they will and they will explain to you by chat how to do it wow. or resolve the problem. You know, that's the if new way the they're doing things is in chats yeah. like that. Is there a lot of work in that field to answer the questions? Uh, there's a lot of different scenario uh, related to Excel or a spreadsheet also. Wow, that is so great. And you know, there are a lot of companies that have those. Um, Apple support, they have a, kind of a... a a group chat where you can go and different people will answer and for just about yeah. any domain you can find a professional what do they call it professional learning expert. community expert they uh 
it's not um it's an ex the one who will answer you who will reply your uh question will be what they call an excel excel expert excel uh, expert. Yeah. expert wow yeah. so they have people that are paid to answer yeah. in a professional yeah. learning community it's usually like us it's professionals we're you know practitioners in the field we're using technology to learn english uh, but we're not paid so those people that are paid are really experts aren't they they really know what they're doing and they have the answers for you so you have to pay you're on X, excel pro to get that feature and the first place no uh teacher uh in the first place they will give you free a uh, free trial and then oh. after all they will offer some package i see you so first question's free i like that yeah. so yeah jaren is teacher sky's teaching assistant she has a badge and everything and she's been helping to welcome everybody. Thank you, Jaren, so much yeah, for all nice. your hard work. So organized. Thank you. And, you know, I need more moderators. I could use one or two on Facebook. I never talk back to my Facebook people. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hi. I always, after the fact, go and say hello and thank you. But also on YouTube, I could use hello. some people that float around out there. Oh, look, Carol is here. Let's bring Carol hello. up. And you know, maybe we will do a little bit more today because Carol just joined the group. Hi, Carol. Oh, no. And in the process, Hi. I lost you, Flourish. Hello. Let's bring you back. Oh, no, you're still there. Wow. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, so, Carol. Hello, everyone. It just faked me out. So on the mobile app, <laughs> I can still see you, Flourish, and I can see Carol. Welcome, Carol. Good to see you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. So we're talking about technology. Um, do you have any kind of tools that you use to to learn English? Please, teacher, I can understand. Like Hallo, you use Hallo. Is there any other tools or resources that you could share with everyone today? I use uh, Hello. That's or uh, Hello. Just Hello. That's your that's your app, huh? Now, yes. Carol, do you use it on a a phone? Your yes, a mobile uh -huh. device. Okay. Have you ever tried on the internet? Yes. No. Do you guys know the link to look at Hallow on the internet? If you're doing a private lesson, you might want to use it. Um, you can see a lot better to be able to read and all of that. You know, when we share the screen, it's www.hallow.video okay okay w, w, oh w. you guys are so cute hi pradyesh yes. welcome hello so hello. any other tech tools that we could look at video okay because Carol would like to do some reading and discussion <laughs> a little bit before we go um so how about i've got one um it's called tech trends oh and i hope i can find Th this was a teacher of mine let's see if i can bring this up for you okay <laughs> i love these apps and it's really fun now this is actually a podcast that is done and let's see if this is the right one oh, i don't think it is where'd it go tech trends it's called Tech Trends, and I'm just going to type in his name, Abby. What's his last name? I wrote it down, Abby and Abby Brown. Abby Brown. It is a great podcast that keeps up with tech trends oh this one looks really good though this tech in 21 2021 we might want to look at that um there's also what's called the horizon report oh, and this isn't coming up where is my abby brown here he is oh, well he's a really interesting person let's see if he's still doing the podcast i believe so uh there we go 
Oh, but it only says that about him, and there's not much else. Here's links. Here we go. Tech. It's called Trends and Issues. No wonder I didn't get it right. It's Trends and Issues in Education Technology, and it's usually a podcast. Here's one. Uh, is this the latest one? Yep, it sure is. Oh, boy. Okay. It didn't show you the, the next screen. Let me bring up the next screen. I should have screened the, shared the whole screen, but here it is, trends and issues. And maybe Carol can get a little reading in. Carol, can you read what episode 189 is about? Oh, it, it's cut off the end, isn't it? Can you see that well enough to read? Mm, yes. It says um, episode episode uh, one hundred is one uh, eighty nine. Right. Trains for John June twenty two July um, thirty mm -hmm. two thousand twenty one. Uh, what? Hawaiian and Sir and Solway software, Secu software, security, and citizenship, and traditional design, instructional and design, and teach teaching, and education, educator, professional development. Okay, so that's their topics for this one. Ah, uh, here's some good ones. Here are some of the resources. Do you all know the difference between hardware and software? What is hardware? Uh, the hardware is the item. The hardware is the item, the product itself. And then the software is the application. Uh, all things uh, as an operating to operate the hardware. There the you function go. of hardware. Excellent. Good job. Okay, so you have the machine, and that's the hardware. It's hard. And then you have the software. That's the app that's in it, and it's telling it what to do, the hardware and software. Okay, so um, they have different things that were discussed, and I, this is probably going to be too little for you guys to read, isn't it? Let's see if their Flipboard magazine is more visual. This is a wonderful resource for what's the latest in ed tech and technology. And, oh boy, here it is. We have some of them. Oh, and, of course, it didn't give you... It. <laughs> I should have used that one that Shams told me about because now I have to come back out and go back in again. This is called Flipboard, okay? Flipboard, so it shows stories from different podcasts and different, um, actually Flipboard is from newspapers and different kind of news sources. So here, I recommend this as a tech tool that you can use. It's digital magazines. Now that's cool. So here, and Abby used it. He talked about Zoom and there's a whole article about it here. What does the future look like for online learning? That kind of covers where we're at. Here are some different uh, just stories. Oh, very good. So all of these are from Abby Brown that he has posted. And it's in the Flipboard, right? These are different things, different articles. Um, email protectors. Five free teleprompter apps. Do you know what a teleprompter is? Teleprompter. Does anyone know that word? I know because I've worked in television. Teleprompter? Can you guess? I don't know. Okay, it's when you're on television and you're reading, 
but they have an electronic device that is showing you the script. So it looks like you're looking right at the camera, but the words are in front of the camera. The audience don't see the words. The audience doesn't see the words. Mm -hmm. The person reading can read it. It's called a teleprompter. So it's a way to have perfect presentations, a teleprompter. Mm -hmm. So there are apps you can use. And mm -hmm. oh, I want to make sure Jaren needs some help here. You have to subscribe first to join ten dollars per month. But oh, yeah, subscription is done, Jaren. I yeah, I think we have we had the last day. Oh, thank you, Sanchen, for donating. That's so nice. Ah, that's great. I'll make thirty-five cents today. High five! I love it. I do have more classes yeah. tonight with my Chinese kids, and boy, they are really uh, making it possible. So these are all really good oh, ed tech. Some more. Yeah, we need some more. Okay, so these are all just articles about the latest in technology and ed tech. Here's one about 365 Microsoft. Uh, so uh, just another really good resource. And Abby Brown also has this podcast called Tech Trends. And I recommend both of them. Uh, they're really good if you want to keep up with what's going on with technology and, you know, mm -hmm. tools that you use. Uh, so those are some tech tools. Can you guys think of any other education technology tools <laughs> I I have heard people talk about Grammarly is Grammarly a good one to use for learning English oh here's a good one have you used Grammarly Flourish yes yes I am using Grammarly yeah is it helping you do you like it Yes, it, it's so helpful, especially if uh, there's a wrong spelling. Sometimes uh, grammar, they will suggest it's a bl there's a blue color if uh, you need to improve the grammar. Yeah. And red color if it's spelling. So it, it's really Visual. Uh, helpful. Yeah, that sounds really good. And thank you for donating, Flores. You're the best. You supported me so much throughout all of your time subscribing right, and donating. Really appreciate that. So I'm up to a dollar today, guys. I love it. And yes, you know, the HALO course model is just going to make it possible for teachers to stay here because it has been hard. Um, in the past, you know, with subscribing, the subscriber model was pretty good, but it was more like a hobby and a fun thing to do on the side. So I'd really like to see the Hello courses be successful so that we can stay with you and continue to help you learn English. Oh, TKR, you can't figure out how to pay. Oh, now that is going to be going to your own profile and looking into that. You have to click through. And if you need to, you can contact Hallow Support and they can help you. Okay. So, Carol, do you have anything yes. that, uh, any questions you might have or anything that you'd like to contribute today? Mm, I'm coming too late. I'm coming uh, too late, teacher, because I, I don't uh, listen. Uh, I'm listening the video after three. Oh. Yes. So you're listening. And, you know, some people just listen first and then they get brave enough to come up and be interviewed. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm, I'm yeah. kind of at a loss. Give me some hearts. Now, you guys, have you given Flourish and Carol some hearts? You have to like at the top of the screen. Be sure and I share them. I myself on the half one. Uh, my, my self is not showing on the half one. I noticed that. Uh -huh. So I do have something um, we could read if you all would like a little practice reading. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I have a question, teacher. How to use what if, teacher? How to use what, WhatsApp? What if. What oh, if, what if. Teacher. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a question of Yana. How to use what if, teacher? What if 
Let's all write a question. What if everyone wrote a question in the comments? That'll be my question. What okay. if my thumb. Oh. everyone wrote a question in the comments? What if? What if Hello Course will be free? Oh, what if Hello <laughs> Courses were free? What if Hello, Hello. Courses Course. were all, I think we'd have to get sponsors all for free. I thought about that, you know, that maybe Hello, because we reach so many people and you all are out there, right? Right now I have 107 people watching uh, and we could have a sponsor, you know, like, oh, let's see, uh, planters, peanuts could, you know, have their little logo over here and they would pay and then you could learn for free. But they would pay because you'd buy their peanuts, right? It would make you hungry to see their logo. <laughs> so that might be a good way. Oh, good. Thank you for putting it there. So what if, it's not really a question. I put a question on the end of mine. Does it, it doesn't need a question mark, does it? What if, it's a sentence. Right, it's not a question. I put a question mark, so that's incorrect. Um, oh, mom is calling Jaren for dinner. Thank you, Jaren. We love you so much. And yes, you will have that digital badge to display proudly and be sure and print one and hang it in. You know, you could frame yeah. it. Oh, they're so beautiful. Teacher, how can how can Jaren receive it? Is it a soft copy? How can what? Say again. How can she receive the badge? How can How she can... receive the badge? Now, the badge will be sent by Nori, and she's Ooh. going to send them via chat, I believe. Nathalia, how to become fluent in English? Do you guys know? It's three words. What do I say? Practice every day. Right. That's how you become fluent. You just have to practice and it will come very slowly at first, but then you'll notice you're getting better. And then even when you're really good at it, you're going to find ways that you can be better. I'm a native speaker and I still find ways to be better and I'm still not as good as I could be. Thank you, Jaren, for welcoming everyone. That is so awesome. If you had a bad day, what would you do? Now, that is a question, but it's not what if. If and what are in it, but it's a question. I think what if is a sentence. It's a statement, but it's also a statement to make you think. What if things were different? What if? It's one of those things that anything is possible, right? Unexplainable. What if? What if there will be no internet? <laughs> what if what, Floor? Uh -huh. What if inter internet will banish? What? Oh, you mean what if it, the internet disappeared and didn't exist anymore? Banish? Yeah, just like before, ever since. I think what if it vanished would be a better word. Of the the because banish banish, banish banish means we kick someone out and we banish them. From uh, being here. Before, ever seen. I like think being what if banned. banished would be a better word. Be, be, I'm echoing. Banished means we can echo. echo, echo, echo. So you're watching two different devices? I know that's how that happens. Our questions. All right, you guys, I have to wrap it up. But I thank you for being here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Flourish. Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you, Jared <laughs> Hansen. Oh, you guys, you did great today. Keep practicing and practice every day. I'll see you on Friday for the TV show. If you have a segment, please chat me and let me know what you'd like to do. Okay? Teacher. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank Teacher you so Sky signing off. Bye bye. Thanks, bye. guys. Thank you to all my YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter family. Bye bye.